Please. 53 men are accused of belonging to Islamic State, or ISIL. The armed group took control of Sirte in 2015, making the city its largest stronghold outside of Iraq and Syria. The men were taken prisoner in 2016 after government forces retook the city. They are accused of terrorist attacks and murder, including the beheading of 21 Egyptian Coptic Christians as well as kidnapping and torture. After 15 court sessions, the judge delivered his verdict on a first group. 35 members sentenced to death. Others received prison sentences. Family members of victims have waited years for justice. Many are happy with the result. As the lawyers for the victims, we saw the people's reaction. They were satisfied with the verdict. Three of the accused were proven innocent, which proves that it was a fair trial. The defense team for the accused consisted of 17 lawyers, and they were allowed to defend themselves in front of the court. Mustafa is from Sirte. His son was kidnapped by ISIL in 2015. He says he's still missing. When they controlled CERT, they treated us horribly. Their prisons were horrific and they tortured and killed people. Now you see them in a civilized court. They have doctors visit them. They have lawyers. Their civil rights. I am happy with the verdict, but I wish they were all sentenced to death. The verdict is some long-needed closure for these mothers. Today I am happy. I can't explain my happiness. My dear son Muhammad, today I got justice for you. I can finally sleep at night. I haven't been able to sleep since my two sons were killed. We saw justice being served today. More than 780 men from Misrata were killed, liberating the city of Sirte from ISIL. For many here, today's sentencing comes as a sigh of relief that justice for their loved ones has finally been served. Malik Trena, Al Jazeera, Misrata.